I've been told that I probably love my motorcycle more than I love my wife. <laughs> Revving up their motors, bikers are eagerly awaiting an upcoming event. The third annual Cumberland Motorcycle Roundup allows them to share their love of this particular mode of transportation. The freedom. You know, I can't hear my cell phone ring. I, uh, I can uh, look at the people as I'm passing them, they're passing me. The kids are always smiling and waving and pointing and stuff like that. I always wave and smile and give them the peace sign back or make a funny face for them. I've owned a motorcycle for the past eight or nine years. I owned a motorcycle in my teens. I think it's just a, a, a fun thing to do. I think it's a very free thing to do to drive down a motorcycle, drive a motorcycle with a breeze in, in your face. And I think that I also like the social aspect of it. It's a very social thing, motorcycling these days. A lot of motorcycle clubs, a lot of groups getting together to ride motorcycles. I've been riding since 1976. I was, uh, I've been in love with motorcycles. I don't know if it was to spite my parents or not, Sorry, Mom. And uh, I just loved motorcycles ever since I was a teenager. So I was the first girl in Port Alberni to get my motorcycle license. I guess the reason I own a Harley is because it's probably the coolest bike <laughs> to own, actually. It's a great bike. It's uh, very reliable, and it's, uh, it's probably like the legend. So that's why I have it. <laughs> I've been riding ever since. And I just uh, passionate about them. And it would seem others are too. Last year there were 165 bikes, and this year they're expecting around 350 or more. What you can see when you come here on the 6th of August will be um, all kinds of motorcycles, beautiful motorcycles that come from everywhere to compete in the show and shine, all parked down the center of the street. We close the main street off to all kind of vehicle traffic. There's beer gardens, there's competitive motorcycle games, there's evening entertainment. And on this Sunday, we have a poker run, which starts in Cumberland, goes right through the Comox Valley, out to Comox, the air base. Mount Washington, they take us, they actually take a, a chairlift up to the top of Mount Washington to get their car and back to Cumberland. So it's one of the most scenic poker rides in all of North America. So we think that's a real great feature of this event. The bikes uh, that come are, there's a vast array. Um, we even had uh, a little trike, uh, or a little bike from uh, a little little tyke, and uh, it was a catchy, it was quite a catchy little uh, add to the, to the whole show. But yeah, so it's really neat, the different, there are so many different uh, styles, models of bikes out there. From Harley Davidsons to antique motorcycles to vintage motorcycles to a variety of custom bikes, so you'll see every single bike you can imagine. Rain or shine it goes, the show must go on. Spectators are encouraged to come out and view the motorcycles on display. And if you would like to register for the event, check out their website for details. Proceeds from the event are going to support the Tour de Rock and other local charities. From Dunsmere Avenue in Cumberland, for Shaw TV, I'm Melissa Hall. Take it away, Dave. <laughs>